the number one most frustrating phase uttered routinely by traditional pediatricians still today is don't worry, they'll grow out of it. For over, let's see, 13 years now, I keep hearing stories of parents who were rightfully concerned about things like their baby's colic and constant crying, chronic ear infections, constipation, um, gut issues, developmental delays, missed milestones, and sensory meltdowns, only to find out later on that their gut instincts were right and that those early infant and childhood health challenges are a sign of neurological dysfunction that kids do not usually grow out of. Instead, they grow into chronic illness and neurological challenges like sensory processing disorder, autism spectrum disorder, ADHD, asthma, allergies, and the list goes on. So if you've been told by your traditional pediatrician to just wait and see if your child outgrows symptoms like extreme fussiness, poor sleep, chronic congestion, constipation, or sensory meltdowns, this video will make you think twice. These conditions have real neurological causes behind them that require proper care that actually addresses the root cause instead of just hoping and waiting for them to go away, which is exactly what we'll be breaking down today. This video is for all of the frustrated, confused, and fed up parents who know in their gut that something more serious is brewing under their child's system, symptoms, but their pediatrician keeps dismissing concerns and saying that they'll grow out of it. You'll learn how common childhood conditions like colic, infections, digestive issues, and sensory problems actually stem from neurological dysfunction and nervous system stress. Finally, we'll explain why neurologically focused chiropractic pediatric care is so essential to not just relieve symptoms, but truly restore nervous system function and get your child back on track developmentally. Let's meet Ruby. When Ruby's tantrums took a turn for the worse, her parents decided to be proactive and follow their gut instead of waiting to see if she would grow out of it. Ruby was having a lot of tantrums that went from 0 to 100 in 2 seconds. She would take a really long time to level out and her mom was worried a lot about the effect that the stress was having on her. They knew that toddlers have tantrums and this was common, so they second guessed themselves a lot, saying that it was normal. But after a few weeks of care, Ruby's parents realized that they weren't completely stressed out about her tantrums. They weren't on high alert because they weren't nearly as wild or as frequent. She also started trying to say more words, and a few weeks after starting care, she really gained a lot of confidence in her communication over the last couple of months. We love that Ruby's mom listened to her intuition when things just fell off, and it's incredible to watch other moms like Ruby's follow it for their kids to thrive. So what is really going on? The brutal truth is that kids absolutely do not simply grow out of most early childhood conditions and phases that traditional pediatricians dismiss as normal and temporary. Why is this? Because nearly all challenges discussed earlier stem from an underlying neurological cause, stress, dysfunction, and what's called dysautonomia of the central and autonomic nervous system. Frequent congestion and rep respiratory infections become chronic illnesses like asthma and allergies. Sensory meltdowns and tantrums and sleep troubles can grow into ADHD and sensory processing disorder, and colic and reflux can lead to digestive struggles, constipation, and food intolerances or allergies. The cascading effects build on each other and lead from one thing to another. This cascade of events is what we call the perfect storm. It all starts with excess neurological stress in utero from a stressful pregnancy. Then you add in potential birth trauma from interventions like forceps, vacuum extraction, induction, and C-section delivery. <clears throat> and then finally, you throw in early exposure to antibiotics, other medications, toxins, and so forth. And this all triggers inflammation within the body and gut-brain connection. So this all becomes a sequence of traumatic, toxic, and life-altering events that a child goes through early in life that leaves their nervous system stuck in a state of fight or flight and can throw them off track developmentally. All of this early exposure to stress and toxins leaves the child's nervous system subluxated. Subluxation is our chiropractic word for neurological dysfunction, dysregulation, and something called dysautonomia. At the root of all of chronic illness, whether it's digestion, immune-related, or neurodevelopmental, is this singular problem, dysautonomia. 
Once you understand the perfect storm and terms like subluxation, nervous system dysregulation, and dysautonomia, moms and dads, you have found the answers that you have been up late at night looking for to explain why your child is so sick and stressed out all the time. As a neurologically focused pediatric chiropractor, our team at Generations Chiropractic is trained to recognize how this cascade occurs and find the real root cause of your child's chronic health challenges by diving deep into their case history and running an in-depth neurological exam that can find and detect the presence of subluxation, neurological dysfunction, and dysautonomia. If you feel like your child's health struggles are being rushed or brushed off as just phases that they'll grow out of, Trust your mom and dad gut and take the next step in learning about subluxation, dysautonomia, and neurologically focused chiropractic care. You can click the link below or in our bio to read a detailed article explaining why kids do not simply grow out of most childhood health challenges and find out more information about how our clinical process and care protocols work.